In this tutorial, we'll go through installing MetaTrader and installing all the necessary dependencies that are required for the DWX Serum Q Connector project in order to bridge MetaTrader and your chosen programming language. For this, we'll need to download MetaTrader and the necessary dependencies from GitHub. So firstly, let's go over to GitHub and download the DWX Serum Q Connector project. You can, of course, check this out via GitHub directly via console. If not, you can download the zip file here on the GitHub repositories page at DWX Serum Q Connector on GitHub. Click on download zip and then save it to a location of your choice. Once you've downloaded and extracted the files, you'll need to head inside and go into the dependencies folder. And here you'll find another zip file called mqlzmqmaster. That is a snapshot of files uh, from the mqlzmq project as well as mqr for lib, libsodium, and libzmq available via GitHub individually, but have been compiled here for your convenience along with appropriate copyright information. You'll need to extract these files into a folder of your choice. We'll just extract them here directly and go inside and now each of these directories has files that will be required inside metatrader so before we get to these let's head over to the darnax platform make sure we've downloaded nt4 via trading ac trading accounts and download trading platform clicking on mt4 for this implementation in this tutorial we've already done that and executed the file so now let's go through its installation once you run the installer you'll see this as your first screen here you have the option of simply clicking next and proceeding with its defaults or clicking settings. And here you can change the installation folder, the location where you'd like it to be installed, change the name of the installation folder. In this case, we'll set this to uh, one on both occasions, the installation folder and the program group. We'll uncheck open MQL community website, click next and wait for the installation to complete. Once the installation is completed, uh, MetaTrader will launch by default and present you with a prompt whereby you can uh, enter your login details. The first screen by default is the open an account um, form. Here you can click cancel and the prompt appears for inserting your login and password as well as your server, depending on whether it's demo or live. If you have an existing DarwinX account, then you can enter your MT4 login and password here, select the appropriate server. If you don't already have an account, then you can of course go to DarwinX.com and sign up for a demo account to use for this implementation. Once we're inside MetaTrader here, we're going to enter our account credentials. In this case, we'll enter our demo account information. And once that's complete, click on login, and that will allow you to enter MetaTrader in a logged in state. For this first use, we're going to optimize MetaTrader a little bit so that it uses as little resources as possible. So here we'll simply get rid of anything that is not required. So we'll delete this indicator window. We'll set it to have absolutely nothing else on it other than candles we'll get rid of one click trading we'll get rid of the grid and set it like so so we have our default chart to make things simple we can save this as a template as well so let's call it default chart and that saves our original template now one note in terms of efficiency if you plan on using this terminal specifically for the dwx serum q connector project then you'll want to get rid of all the other symbols that are quoting and updating in real time as they're only posing additional cpu and memory overhead to achieve this you simply right click anywhere in the market watch window and click on hide all and this will leave only the chart that you have open at the moment open and all other symbols in the market watch window will disappear Next, we'll go into tools and options to do a little further configuration here. So proceed to expert advisors and make sure that allow automated trading is selected. Depending on your preferences, you may wish to keep automated trading when the account has changed disabled, uh, as well as when the profile has been changed. If this is not your preference, you can uncheck these two and continue onwards. Then click on uh, allow DLL imports. This is important as some of the dependencies of the project exclusively rely on Windows DLLs and these need to be accessible to the expert advisor component of this project in order for it to function correctly. Once this is complete and you have allowed automated trading and allowed DLL imports, then you can proceed to charts and refine your configuration a little further for efficiency. So here by default, MetaTrader has 512,000 bars as set to max bars in history and 65,000 set to max bars in chart. Here, if you don't plan on acquiring data through MetaTrader via ZeroMQ, then you can set this value to one. Otherwise, you can set it to the value that you feel is appropriate for the amount of data that you would end up requesting 
via MetaTrader. Similarly, over here, max bars and chart can also be set to one if you don't plan on using any data on your chart. This will essentially reduce the memory footprint as well as the CPU resources required to maintain updates to the data on your chart at all times and allow you to use more resources um, for the actual project than the chart. And this is also important for deploying this on a VPS server, as most VPS servers will have limited resources compared to a physical machines such as your PC or laptop. And therefore, it's best to optimize these things before launching them on a VPS server to make sure that you have as lean an installation of MetaTrader 4 with your ZeroMQ connector installation as possible. Another thing you can do is go into events and disable sound events, especially if you intend on having this installed on a VPS server where sound events are not necessary if you're not physically logged into the VPS server all the time. This just adds a bit more efficiency and reduces some of the CPU and memory footprint that is required to run your instance of MetaTrader. And that's pretty much it. Now you click on OK, and you now have your MetaTrader environment configured for first use in a logged in state with only one chart with a minimal amount of information on it. And now you can go about installing the remainder of the components required for this project. To do so, you now need to go to File and click on Open Data Folder. And inside this root directory for the MetaTrader installation, you will have a few folders that you need to access. We'll need to go into the MQL4 folder. And over here, we'll need to first go to Experts. Now let's head over to the DWX Serum Q Connect project that we extracted earlier on and go back to the root of that folder and go into the very latest version that's in production, and that's 201. Over here, you need to go into MQL4 and you'll find this expert advisor. Copy this expert advisor into the experts folder that we just entered inside the data folder in MetaTrader 4. Now we need to go back into the MQL ZMQ master folder inside our dependencies directory in the DWX ZMQ connector download that we just extracted. And here, click on include, copy both these folders as is into the include folder of your MT4 data folder. Go back to MQL4, then enter libraries. Here, you need to copy over the libraries for MT4 which are libsodium and libzmq into the libraries folder of your root data directory. And finally, if you'd like to use some of the scripts that are there inside the um, MQL ZMQ master for testing purposes, you can, of course, copy these into your scripts folder inside MQL4 as well. However, for this implementation, we won't be needing these. We now have a MetaTrade installation that is equipped with the expert advisors, as well as the dependencies necessary in order to run this project. So now it's best to refresh the instance by shutting it down and reinitiating it. After shutting down and reinitializing MetaTrader 4, you'll notice that there's only one bar currently being updated on your screen. This is as a result of us having selected under tools and options that our charts only have one bar in the chart, one bar in history. It's this bar that will continuously get updated and present as minimal a memory footprint and CPU footprint as possible. Also, if you go under Expert Advisors, you'll see that, that the latest DWX ZeroMQ Server EA is in place. And by double-clicking the Expert Advisors tree, you'll see DWX ZeroMQ Server is currently installed and ready for use. It's also good practice to make sure that the Expert Advisor is compiling correctly. So we'll right-click on this entry, click on Modify, and this will open up Meta Editor, where we'll run a compile operation to make sure everything is compiling successfully. Simply click on the Compile button at the top over here, and observe any warnings and errors. In this case, expression not boolean, uh, these two instances are inside global variable.h, which is a part of the MQL Lang project inside the dependencies. These two warnings can be safely ignored. The warning here to do with the version being incompatible with the MQL5 market can also be ignored, as this project is not meant to be served on the MQL5 marketplace. This concludes our test, and we're now sure that our expert advisor is compiling successfully and is ready for use inside MetaTrader 4. So that concludes our installation of MetaTrader and all the necessary dependencies uh, for using the DWX0 Q Connector project with your external programming environment. Now let's move on to the next tutorial where we'll focus on setting up and configuring a Python environment for use with this project. As always, if you enjoyed this presentation, please do consider sharing it with your social networks, colleagues, co-workers, and friends. And do subscribe to the Darwin X YouTube channel so you remain up to date with all future videos that will be released in this series and other topics discussed on Darwin X. Thank you very much for your attention. See you next time.